Hi, Julie Torrens here. So I'm going to get started with a zigzag pocket. And then I'll talk more about what we're doing. But people have asked me, now this is not my idea. But what I have here is an angle that I cut off of a 12 by 12. And it's still 12 inches. And so I'm just going to score it at 4 and 8. So it's every 4 inches. And I'm going to do another one. Here's another one. I'm going to do the same thing. I've got it tied up in this corner and I'm scoring at four and eight. Okay, now let's get this out of the way and let's keep going. I'm going to move you down and I have some new software for editing. Hopefully, this part will be edited out, but I make no guarantees, so that's why I'm talking you through it. Okay, let's get going here. So I'm working in my bee journal, and I'm excited about that, but I'm also a little bit lost. Let's get back to our pocket. So it's 12 inches. I don't know what this measurement is. It was a cutoff. It was a, a, an off cut, a leftover, but let's just see. So it's six, it's six inches. So I had a six inch slice left over. And then all I do is I fold at that first score and then I fold it at the second score. Now this is not my original idea. I saw this on Gaila Costanelli and I'm gonna grab my bone folder because this is Tim Holtz an old 12 by 12 and it's it's a firm paper it's great so let's get it glued but I'm a little hmm, I guess unsure or not really overwhelmed just I guess unsure about <laughs> what I'm exactly gonna do because I'm doing the B journal and I've got some ephemera already cut from a couple of kits. I don't remember the name of those kits, but I will go ahead and I will link them because I do have the links, but I'm pretty new at this and I've been looking at a lot of different, a lot of different kits. And so the ones I looked at versus the one I've the ones I've selected I'm confused and so I don't want to name the wrong kits or skip a kit so I will link them in the description okay so here's one zigzag pocket isn't that fun okay so that's one I'm gonna go ahead and do this one but this one just to change things up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and ink it up and I'm grabbing my um, Rosy Posy is the name of this and it's an archival ink and I'm just going to just going to hit the edge. I'm not really trying to make a deep frame, but again, just to change it up because the first one I did, I didn't ink up, which is fine, but just to keep them from looking so identical i'm gonna go ahead and ink this up and in the meantime you tell me what's going on how are you doing what's on your desk are you working on a journal are you working in your art journal what is happening in your world now i think i have enough ink i'm gonna go ahead and Fold at that first four inches. Fold at this four inches. Now, I believe that Gail, and I will link her, Gail Costanelli, I will link her, but I believe that she got this idea from another artist. So, and exactly how she did it, I'm not sure, but I just remembered this 
tri-fold on an angle when you've got some 12 by 12 cutoffs. And I know these are six, we measured it. I know I've done it with other measurements, just when I've had some leftover rectangles that I could just cut. Okay, and let's get this one glued down. I'm using my art glitter glue. And just giving it a burnish. And there. Just like that, we've got two pockets made. What do you think? <laughs> All right, now, here's where the kind of I'm, I'm a little lost is coming in. I just bumped you. I'm sorry, I'm going to move the cable. There we go. We've got these that need decorating. I've got some of these. And let's get started with these. I love these for pockets. This is a pharmacy envelope, but they're so nice and crinkly. So the first thing I do when I have one of these, and I'm bumping everything, so I apologize. I cut off the glued part of the bottom, just like that. And you can use like some fancy scissors and whatever you wanna use, go right ahead. And I can tell that I didn't cut that exactly straight. I don't care. It's all right. It's going to be just fine. And I'm trying to get this cable out of the way again. All right. So then I leave. I leave this nice roughy part. That's just fine. And then what I have is I have a pocket here. I'm going to glue it to make a pocket there. And then I have a pocket here. So it's, it's really fun. I am wondering, though... Let's get that ruler out again. How how tall is this exactly? Let's go to the tallest part. Seven inches. That's plenty big, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more. And yes, I'm adding another fold. That's fine. This is a junk journal, remember? So let's just do that. And I'm going to ink this guy up. And I'm gonna keep using this rosy posy. I think it's just fine. And I'm gonna ink up these edges. And I'm doing it with a little more gusto this time. And you could, no reason why you couldn't, put these in your tea dye bath or your coffee dyed bath. But you know, I print my digitals on white. I like white paper in my in my journals and in my art in general. So I am leaving it white. Embrace the white. You don't always have to get rid of every bit of white. I want to do this, but it 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 looks messy. So I'm just going to grab a piece of paper here and just kind of catch this little edge, this little rumply edge. And then I'm going to try to catch this edge, but not get too much underneath. If I do, I do. I think we're getting it pretty good here. <laughs> get it on my hands. All right. Doesn't that look nice? Okay. So bee journal, I've got all kinds of different bee ephemeras to use. I think I'm going to go ahead, though, and get it glued. So I want to just glue along here. You know what? Mm, I was going to say, should I put one of those holes, you know, like a thumb hole? I don't think so. I think we'll be fine without. Again, you know, change things up a little bit. Okay, just a little art glitter glue right on that edge. So I've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I don't mind using leftovers. As a matter of fact, I love using scraps and leftovers. But I don't have, I guess, finished products in my mind. Do you know what I mean? I just don't. Now I'm leaving these gussets these parts I'm leaving that all open so I guess we could really stuff it full if we want but let's start thinking about our bee journal I've got this from the kit which has 
different pieces. I like that. And it's got some stamps. I like that. That's kind of cute. Let's get a little bit of book page or I've got here. Oh, I've got a little bit of doily. What about that? This little scrap of doily. This I sprayed with uh, some ink sprays. They're not, they're not the um, oxides. They're just the, the dye sprays. So that's a video all in itself where I just get out my shoe box of uh, spray magic. <laughs> and I just throw all kinds of scraps and bits and bobs in there and give them all a bit of a spray and just put some color. And yes, these doilies are white. And yes, I made them another color. But if I was working on a busy color, then I might use a white doily and leave it white. But right now, a white doily wouldn't really show now, would it? All right, let's get this guy on there. I'm using the art glitter glue because when I use glue stick on these, and I've seen people do it and they do a great job, I just tear my glue stick up. And when I try to put the glue stick just on the paper, I, I guess I don't have a very good vision of where it belongs, you know? Okay, let's ink these up so that we get a little bit of continuity. I think that'll be pretty. Again, I'm not trying to put a, a heavy frame. I'm just going around the edge. This was a cute kit, and this I had printed out on cardstock. It's a light cardstock and white. So I'm not really worried about covering an edge, but in, like hiding an edge, I guess I should say. So I've got the journal cover made. I showed that in the prior video. And I've got the pages picked out. I haven't started decorating individual pages yet. Um, quite a few are already decorated. I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm going to go with art glitter glue instead of glue stick because of the card stock. I think that with that gusset and we're going to be putting things in and out. I think it would be good to just use art glitter glue for this. Okay, I like that. A little bit crooked there. Okay, good. And you know what? I don't know if the, if this embellishment is crooked or if my bag is crooked, it doesn't matter. Just enjoy. Don't stress. I do like the pink trim with the pink trim. I, I like that a lot. I think that I think that's a good way to kind of tie some stuff together. Okay, I can see a little corner here, quite typical. Your little corners want to not stick and it's not the glue I just probably didn't get enough glue is what that is okay and then this little these are like faux postage that came with the kit I wish I had a a, a postage scissors but I don't it's on my wish list it's not something I moan about just one of those things that's in the back of my mind that especially if I see it at a garage sale or at a, um, a maybe maybe a thrift store, that would be great. Okay, I like that. I want something here and I'm thinking a flower. So let's get some flowers. I've got them here. I'm reaching, I'm reaching. And even if the whole flower doesn't show, that's okay. Now, 
I don't mind the orange with the pink. As a matter of fact, I kind of like it. And I don't mind that it's it's tucking in. Okay, I think that's good. And I'm going to grab a leaf. That's good. Now, I've got some bees that I made. And I wouldn't mind adding a few of those. So, again, I'm reaching. I'm sorry. But I believe they're in this basket. She says, yes. Here's a bee. And here's a bee. We need a couple more. Here's a bee. And I wouldn't mind a couple more. Here. Oh, got this one. One more. This one. Okay. There. All right. Now, I want to put a couple up top in this area and a couple down here. So let's start out with this flower, and I am going to use my glue stick. I have an Uhu glue stick. Put, put a few things away as I go. Have any of you made a bee journal? If you have, is there a way that I can see some pictures of it? Just let me know. So I can't tuck it under both, but I don't mind tucking it into, oh wait, is that a pocket? Oh, it is. Okay, so I can tuck it way down. There we go. There we go. Yes, I like that. That looks good. Forgot to put the leaf in. It's okay. Let's get some glue on it. And see if I'm not too late. I might be. This one look oh for heaven's sakes. This one looks like it's lifting a little. There we go. There we go. Things always work out. I think. They do. Okay, that's fine. Good. Okay. Now, how about some of these little bees? I don't have a particular order or way I'm going to put them. I'm just going to put them. I like that one there. I like mixing up two completely different styles like we did here. I like that a lot. I think the variety is fun. I think it's interesting. Whoop, a little noisy. Let's put this be here. Now these bees and that flower are in my autumn collection. That's on PM Artist Studios. That's the only place that I have my digitals, my downloads. So I hope you go take a look. Okay, I like this. I like this just fine. I think that's a cool pocket. Okay, I'm going to set this into the finished pocket. And it's really, it's one pocket, two pockets, three pockets. I'm When I glue this on, I'm, I'm not going to make it a back pocket. We got, we got enough going on. Okay, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get to another one. Okay, now this is made from one of my digis and it's the same thing that we did not my digi i'm sorry it's made from a master board that i made a couple of journals ago and but i made it on a 12 by 12 so i had a leftover cut off and i just put it on i think it'll be great i'm going to ink it up and i'm going to ink it up dark don't know why but i just have a feeling that that's the way that wants to go Maybe because I already kind of have some pink and some yellow and things like that. So 
maybe kind of highlight that instead. Now this is the Tim Holtz colors, but it is the archival ink. And I'm going to go ahead right into this one, Gratis Bresso. And I'm not trying to make a deep frame. I'm just inking up the edges. I have a video, as I said, we're going to go back a few to find it, but uh, making this master board, but I like the, I like the, the little zigzag pocket that it made. Trying to stay where you can see me. Okay, I think I got everything but this. Let's fold it up and see. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Thank you, Ink. I like Archival over the, the uh, Distress Inks because I use a lot of wet mediums. And I once I get this ink on, I don't want it to move. If I decide to use some acrylic paint or something like that. Okay, and then this needs glue here. Okay. Give it a press. Good. And then just along here. And there we go. Okay. That's a cool little pocket. At least I think it is. And let's think about decorating this up. Okay. I've got some other B. This is like I said, I've got a couple of kits going here. I think this is it. Yes. Well, that's a bug. Maybe this is a bug journal. I think that's what this is. Bugs. We might want to use it, but not what I had in mind. Let's keep let's keep looking. Here we go. This is the one that I meant to grab. Okay. Now, this is a nice beehive. Oh, and I like it. I like it with that, don't you? All right, let's think about that. And then we've got a cool bee. And then maybe just a little too big. Well, maybe, maybe this would be cute there. And this little bee that's flying into his hive. What do you say? I like that. Okay. I am going to ink these up. Again, I just, it's not, like I say, it's not a formula. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm still using the ground espresso. It's just kind of a... It's just kind of a feeling like, oh, this needs some ink. You know, I just, I can't, you know, how do you know? I, I don't, I, it's not something I can explain. It's just a sense I get when I look at it and my brain says it needs a little something. Okay. And this guy. Oh boy, my hands are going to be so nice and inky. Hey, you know what? That's the joy of it. It's okay. There we go. And then the beehive. I think these are cute. Now I'm, I'm debating here. I like the beehive on the pink on that part. But I'm wondering about a little book page or 
something behind the bees. I like this tucked in. Let's get that down. And this is just on printer paper. So I'm going ahead with my, my glue stick. I think that'll work just fine. Yep, but I was thinking like here and here. I don't know. I, I realize I'm going to be putting things in the pocket. So how much of that we're going to actually see all the time, I don't know. But I think I'm going to give it a little music note paper I've got here. Okay, I do like that. And I think I'm gonna grab the orange this time. I'm using the same sponge as I used on the pink. So that's fine. It is a sunny, warm September Sunday. Today is Sunday. And the weather is just beautiful, just beautiful. And I do plan to spend some time out in there, but it's been so long since I've been able to spend time with you and I really feel it. So I really wanted to work together on this bee journal. It's not, we're not going to get it done by any stretch, but. We're getting a little bit, and you know, don't be in a hurry. There's nobody with a stick prodding you along. You just take time with your processes and, and enjoy it. All right, now do I want the same thing here, or is this little bee that's flying in? I don't think I'd mind a little bit. Let's do the same thing. Just give it a little ink. Okay. And a little glue stick. I'm trying not to overthink. I think sometimes overthinking. Yes, I put that on sideways. That's okay. I think sometimes overthinking can kind of stunt your creativity. I think that looks good. So now we've got three pockets. Well, we, we, we made two, but we didn't decorate them yet. We decorated two. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I like that one. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, if some of these end up in just a um, in a stack of, I'm trying to decide, do I want it this way or this way? I think I want it this way. If these end up in a stack of finished ephemera for another project, that's fine. Because that stack that I have of that is very low. All right, I'm going to give this an inking up. I'm going to use my... Uh, ground espresso again and this again is from a master board a little leftover rectangle that I put in my to be finished it has a little I don't know a little tear or cut in it that's all right I probably have a little washi tape I can add to that that will be just fine okay that's good. I just wanted a little touch around there. I didn't really want to have a heavy frame. Now let's see. This is green leaves. That might be pretty along that edge. Let's do that. I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger than I need with the idea that I'm going to trim it. Okay, and I'm going to put, this is a not a particularly expensive or high quality but I really like it, uh, washi. So I'm going to 
add some glue to it. All right, well, just stick to my thumb. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to fight you. Nope. And drag that across. And I'm going to go ahead and work on here. Right there's just a little bitty tear. But let's, let's just add a little something. And I can just wrap that right around this pocket. Why not? Okay. Hey. Looks good to me. I like it. Do I want another piece? I'm thinking. Mm, not necessarily. All right. Now. I definitely want a flower. So I'm grabbing my flowers. And like the pink and maybe an orange. I like those. Couple of leaves. At least one leaf. Maybe one bigger leaf, or maybe this, because that kind of goes with that washi. Let's do that. Okay, that's good. Glad we thought of it. And I think I'm going to put this flower down first. Glue stick. I'm sorry, my arm is just crossing over again and again. I apologize. I'm just not, I guess, very good at organizing. Okay. And then this little sprig. These are from, well, this is from my summer collection. I have some in the fall collection as, as well, but they're more fall colors. But they go in the spring. You know, these kinds of plants start out in their fall colors for our for just a moment and then they turn green when the chlorophyll starts to to run and now we can put this guy here uh-huh yeah i like that different change things up a little bit good Let's see. I think this flower wants to go this way. Yeah. All right. Now let's go into the B. Is this where they were? I don't think so. Oh dear. Where did I put those bees? Hang on. I'm looking quick. Those are birds. One of these stacks has the bees that came with the kit. Oh, doesn't that just frost you? I know I've got it here. Is it this? No. That's the one that is. Here they are. Here they are. Sorry, sorry. I just have so much. Too big just right let's add that Oop. open the glue silly goose okay another bee that's flying in okay that's a sweet little pocket put that with the rest Maybe set these bees here instead of burying them however I did. I have this blank. This is one that I made from maps. And it has a pocket here that folds. And then a pocket here. So I think, and it's already inked up. Yay. So let's, let's be this up a little bit. Let's go back to this kit. And this kit is different than this kit. Just saying. This has some larger pieces. 
But you know what? This could take some larger pieces like that. Oh, I just love that. I just love that. Okay. You know what I think I want to go with it? One of those sprigs again. Let's see. Here's a little one that could just be on top. And then a little bit longer one. Oh, yes. I like that. All right, let's get started with this much. So I need to put this guy on first. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I'm heading in too many different directions in the same journal? Mm, did I have it on top or below? I think I had it below. Okay, now the jar. Jar needs ink, no doubt. Just it it's it it looks like the the glass is just kind of floating, and I want the glass to have an edge. So I'm back in the ground espresso. Not trying to make a heavy frame, just get the edge. So it kind of lifts the the glass. See? Kind of lifts the glass up off of the page. And glue stick. So my sister's been home now less than a week. I miss her terrible, but we had such a good time. Such a good time. She's so arty, which, you know, of course I love. And the reason why I'm a little bit confused, or maybe, maybe, I hope I don't sound too confused, but I am, um, in that I, she loves to fussy cut, and so do I. And but her thing is textiles. She does a lot with uh, fabric and quilts and clothes and her son just had his 30th birthday and they went to, uh, traveled to a Renaissance festival for his birthday. And she made a lot of the clothes that they wore, honestly, so beautiful. Okay, I want a flower. I don't know if in this little kit, do we have a flower? We got bees. And that's why I picked it. There's a bee in the in the thing. We could have a bee outside. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. I think that looks cute. Let's get this guy on. And again, I like that we've got my leaves which have a different vibe, but I think they go just great. I want a little something like a label or a sticker or what do I have? I've got these. Now this I cut from a 12 by 12 that was just loaded with little labels, but they're, they're good. They've got, a, again, a different vibe, a different feel. This is, says bookshop. This says Lane's Bookshop. And there's books. Let's do that. Who knew? Who knew that I was going to find that? And I'm just going to ink up the edge and put it right in that corner. I know the words are a little bit faint, but they're readable. This is, this is cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and use some art glitter glue because this is like the, you know, layer on top of layer because it's going on the jar. I really want it to stick.
a mason jar with books in it. Isn't that different? Okay. That's a good start. I'm trying to get the pin in my art glitter glue. Okay. Now, we've got here and here. How about a big bee like that? Flying across the ocean. Why not? I'm trying to see. He could be kind of dreaming about flowers as he flies across the ocean. He may have a friend. Mm, too much. Too much. Okay. Let's get a flower. What's in here? Now here's those books again. It's kind of like a little journaling card. And this says, be beautiful. But, oops, sorry. This is what I was saying. This says, be beautiful. Got some more of that faux postage. Tags. Oh, that's cute. Not for here, but it's cute. Oh, now these are too big, but they're postcards. That'll be nice for when we're looking for something, you know, to put inside. All right. I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not getting it from this pack. Beautiful stuff. But let's see. Maybe, maybe again. Happily ever after. I don't know. That doesn't really go. Now this one says daydream books. Let's do that. I guess this little pocket's going to have kind of a bookstore theme. Why not? That's what I say. I'm just going to ink this edge up. Saying, why don't you ink these things up ahead? Because I don't know what I'm going to use. And then once I decide what I'm going to use, I don't know what ink I want to use. Because I don't always use a brown or a black or a gray. I use color. So I just never know. I got to just see where, where the muse takes me. Now, I'm not hitting every edge of this. That's for sure. But we're getting a little ink on there. Yep. Yep. All right. Cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue. Try to get these corners nice. Give it a good burnish. If any of the ink or the glue seeps out, because I do put it as close to the edge as I dare. All right, now the B is paper. I'm gonna go ahead and use art glitter glue. I'm sorry, glue stick. My Uhu glue stick. I guess we kind of lost the ocean, that's all right. And then says, find rare dream books. Alrighty. So see a lot of different sources. Now this, uh, I know this paper, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure it was a American Crafts and I got it at the craft outlet. So usually the things that they have are overruns or discontinued, things like that. But I just took the 12 by 12 and cut it up because I just thought these little things that look like little labels. I am shedding my, my little sponge is shedding a little bit. My inking sponge. Okay, now this is just where it's going to be glued down. And then we've got these two. So we, we need to do these two. Is there something we can kind of, well... Maybe keep the theme, but not necessarily go over the, the fold because that's 
like a twofold. See? So let's think about that. Hmm. All right. I've got some bigger flowers in here. They're fall, but they don't have to be. See, like one of these big guys. Mm, doesn't send me. I, I think it's the color. I think the color is just not right with the with the blue water background. How about now? See, I like that color much better. I like these two flowers much better. All right, we're gonna go with those and grab a couple of leaves. There's some butterflies in here. I'm not just I'm not just just throwing away the idea of having butterflies in this journal, but it's not the thrust. So I am trying to stick with bees. But again, if a if a butterfly sneaks in the mix, well, I'm certainly not going to throw the butterfly out with the bath water. Uh uh uh. Okay. I like these colors. I like my leaves. These are kind of spotty leaves. I like them. I may need to change papers for gluing on because I seem to be sticking my art right on top. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Yeah, we need to, we need to turn the page. No problem. And yes, I'm reusing because why not? There we go. All right, now let's get the pink one. Good. I'm just avoiding the folds. Okay, another one. I like that. Okay. B, don't mind if I do. Nope. Maybe one of these kind of sketchy bees. Yes. Yes. Maybe here. No. I like them down there. That looks good to me. Closing up my ooh, ooh, art glitter glue. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go. We can leave the black top off for just right now. I really, I like that on there for overnight and it, it has been keeping my glue from getting glued shut so not gonna I'm not going to change what isn't broke hmm now that I just closed this I'm wondering about a little something there why do these things happen <laughs> because we're artists we got this guy flying in yeah it looks like a little empty space to me have another bee. He's upside down. I don't think bees really fly upside down too often, but that one is. Okay. 
back to where we were, this one. And this is a pocket. So, well, where are we at, hmm? What haven't we delved into yet? Hmm. I think we pretty much jumped into all of our little bits of ephemera and embellishments at least once. Here's another jar. Oh, that's cute. Let's do that. You know, everything doesn't have to have everything but the kitchen sink thrown in it. It really doesn't. And that's cute. Why would I... Why would I want to change it? Still got enough ink on here. I'm going to put it over here a little bit because it, my sponge is starting to make crumbs. And when they do that, those crumbs can just be awful. Okay, now as you can see, this is a bigger sponge. I am grabbing my scissors and I am going over the trash and I'm cutting that off. There. Now. Ta-da. All right. Now. Little book page or music note paper. I'm thinking about just... A little something for the jar to sit on like that and I think I'm gonna go with the more of an orange and hit the edge with some a little bit of ink so where do I get book page and music note paper and all that primarily from thrift thrift shops churches right now have if they haven't they're in the process many of them of converting from having hymnals in their pews to having um, the the words come up on screens and so I'm seeing I'm guessing that's what it is but I'm seeing more hymnals in the book sections than I've ever seen before and I believe that's why and I believe I'm right and I'm, it's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's bad or good. It just, it's just the way it is. And so, and this is cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and use the art glitter glue. I used cardstock when I printed this because I didn't know if some of these things would be, you know, put into a pocket or a tuck. But anyway, music note paper. Now, the good thing about hymnal is they're plentiful. You don't have bad words to, to worry about. You might learn something from them. But they're limited in size. They're all about, I don't know, five by seven-ish. And so you may, you won't really, I'm guessing, I haven't been able to yet just open it up and take out two pages that I can use it as a full book page. But for what I'm doing like this, I think it's wonderful. And I don't feel sacrilegious by doing it. Again, I'm rescuing it from the trash. It's plain and simple. I'm just rescuing it. So, all right. Now, let's look at maybe one of these again. These are those little labels that I pulled. I like the shape, but I don't understand happily ever after. Well, because it's books, I guess that's why. Okay, think about it. So, now this doesn't have books in it, though. This has a flower. Let's do that. And maybe, 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 I'll go into the, into my ephemera again. And again, this is my autumn collection and see if I can find a bee. And we'll put a little bee in there. Okay. I like that idea.
when it comes to actual pieces like numbers, I realize we haven't gotten a whole lot done. But when you think about how many surfaces, I mean, right now we've got one, two, three, four, and yet it's only one piece that's going to go into the journal. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, this, this takes a minute, you know, when people wonder how we come up with pricing for our journals. Well, you're witnessing part of it right now. Okay. Yes. I like that. May need more, but for right now, I'm going to leave it. I like it, but I realize may need more. That's okay. Keep going. Always add more. All right, we've got these two pages. Let's go into the other, this one. And this has some different flavor. Now this has, I think it's kind of a bee fairy. I think she's kind of lost. The color is an awful lot like the background. What else do we have here? This is a, same thing though. See, this bee has, we've already used him in one place, but we can use him again. Oh, oh, I think he's too big. I don't want to chop him up, but I love the color. I'm sorry. I like this. It's all rather small. And the, why would that flower be kind of just flying in the air? It could be in the But boy, we need something else, don't we? Hmm. I think these are designed for a little bit smaller. The bigger pieces are the same khaki color. So changing gears. We need some color. No, we've got this again. No, too big. I'm not going to put a pumpkin. Don't mind the blue. I think those are identical. I like this. And let's see here. This again, this is my fall collection. I've got a stick here. Hmm. Could we make that work? think on it and see this yeah I a little too much I don't mind these let's let's stop there let's go into the summer grab a summer flower that's a big flower I'm liking where this is going. Now, what I was thinking is adding some green leaves to the autumn colored ones. I think that would look nice. I really do. All right, let's get going. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one, and did I have it going all the way across? I think I did. Well, we'll just have to, we'll just have to work with that. We can do that. It's going across to fold, but it's not majorly large. I think we'll be okay. So, 
Let's put this on with some glue stick. Oh, there. I'm taking my finger and kind of working it into that fold. And if we let it dry before we fold it, we'll be better off. I promise. Let's do one green one. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, it was kind of stuck. This one can go here. It's very tempting to want to fold it now. Let it dry. Now, I say we add this. It needs a leaf. There's no way that big flower would be just hanging off of that little stem. And let's get this guy on. We are getting quite gluey. Ooh, ooh. Did I just say we're getting quite gluey? All right, I may need to trim this edge just a touch. That's okay. All right. Yes, good. And now let's put, yep. All right, I'm going to move these. And... Go to here. Ooh, ooh. Sometimes the glue stick can really kind of grab these smaller pieces. Okay. Now, this one. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I brought you in close. I'm seeing a little lift. Okay. Now this one you may need another one. Open the glue stick. Yep. Okay. Now this. Putting a lot on here, aren't we? It's all right. We need it. Oh, dear. This dug right into the leaf. Oh, my word. Can I save it? I'm going to try. Sorry, I went a little quiet on you, lifting this up. Hey. And I don't know if you can see that big glue glob, but boy, oh boy. I think we did it. Add a little more glue here. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> Look at that. I like it. Okay, needs a bee. And let's get these bees because this is bold. So let's get a...
Boulder B. What do you think? I think it's good. Really good. Oh, Mr. Glue Stick, be friendly, please. Thank you. So that's kind of a kind of a double page spread, huh? Nice. All right, I'm going to get some glue on my fingers. I'm going to trim this up right here. Just a little, just a little bit. All right, this has, I, I have pressed this leaf down a hundred times. And I can press and press and press. If it doesn't have any glue, I'm not doing it any good. All right, let's just recap. I don't want to fold this, but there's nothing going on on the other side. This, oh, on this side there is. Okay, well, we did this, this. We can fold this one in. So we got that much done. And what we need to do is this section next time we get together, okay? Now, let's get the other parts. We did this, this cute pocket. We did this zigzag pocket, which I think is adorable. We did this pocket made out of the pharmacy bag. Yes, gorgeous. Okay, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And if you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today is a perfect day. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye now.